I look at Kobe Bryant as the best in our league. But Bryant has done so much for the game. He's an incredible player. One of the best scores this game has ever seen. He's one of the best that we've ever seen. He's meant so much for what he's been able to do for the league. I'm just trying to put on a show for him and give him a reason to be like, okay, we might come to another game. Kobe Bryant to me is one of my favorite role models. When he first came into the league, you know, he used to call me and bend my ear for advice. Kobe guarding LeBron. James on Bryant. It gets to a point where you be like, you know, I didn't think I could get better today until now you got to guard Kobe Bryant. Hey, hey, watch the rip. Watch the rip. When watch I think of LeBron, rip. I think of sheer force you know, as being the initial thrust of his game. He's definitely um, somebody that you could be around all the time. When he and I are around each other, we're always talking, always kind of laughing. He's just trying to dunk on me, Craig. <laughs> oh, no. He's just trying to dunk on me. <laughs> I think it really went to another level when we played on the Olympic team together in the late. Oh, you like my look? Got that Kobe Bryant look going. What's up? <laughs> it's more like a big brother relationship. It, it, it kind of always has been. He looks at me like his younger brother, for sure. And, uh, and that's pretty cool, man. When he first came on board, I said, listen, you are now family now. You're part of this tradition. So if there's anything you need, just let me know. Welcome here with open arms. And just to have that support, you know, from one of the greatest legs they ever play, um, was just special for me. That's pretty awesome to see there. This week, in our NBA Saturday primetime matchup, LeBron and the Lakers are in Philly against Ben Simmons and the Sixers. LeBron looks to pass Kobe for third all-time in scoring. Our coverage begins with the jump at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific on ABC and the ESPN app. Tune into the jump pregame show. Rachel Nichols, Jay Williams, and Jalen Rose preview tomorrow's big matchup. Special guest Joel Embiid and the greatest human alive, Allen Iverson, join the show as well. So you won't want to miss it. Coach Fizz. With LeBron just 18 points shy of passing Kobe on the all-time scoring list, what's the significance of that potential accomplishment? Well, I think it's a few things. One, he's doing it in a Lakers uniform. And I know how much respect LeBron has for Kobe and what that's going to mean to him historically and for their relationship. But I think the thing that people are missing out is LeBron is going to finish top three in assists all time. So to be able to do both, at that level is just incredible. And it's just one thing people don't, the, another little side note to the all-time scores, the top two guys didn't shoot threes. So that mm -hmm. says a lot about them. That's a good point. Well. Interesting. <laughs> I think as uh, Fia said, it's really one Laker passing another Laker. Yeah. Um, and if you want to go back a little farther, you can say Kobe Bryant really passed the torch on to LeBron mm -hmm. James. And for LeBron to be able to accomplish what he's been able to accomplish and now to do it in a Laker uniform, uh, it's, it's got to be pretty special. And, you know, we all saw this coming. We, we saw this from day one when yeah. LeBron James came in the league and started to prove that he was going to fill the stats up across the board. And, you know, the time has come. Yeah. Now it's uh, LeBron time to move ahead and move himself on up the chart a little bit. There's no question. Laker fans, I feel like it'll be interesting, right? Because Kobe is their guy. This is his city. And uh, for LeBron to do it in a Laker uniform, right. I feel like they'll be happy for him, but it'll be a little bittersweet because Kobe is their guy. No, nah, man. Laker fans, they're going to root for Lakers. And LeBron's a Laker now. And, and so they wouldn't want anybody. They wouldn't want him doing it in a Cleveland uniform. Right. I'll tell you that. <laughs> okay, that's for sure. So to have another Laker up on that list, I think Laker fans are really going to embrace that and they're going to cheer for that. But like I said, I, just, I think it's pretty cool that we get to see this right before our eyes, this kind of history being made where that torch is being passed like Scotty said. No doubt about it. It's just another just amazing moment in what has been arguably the greatest career in yes. the NBA. Absolutely. All right, as for the other side of the Lakers and Sixers game, there's a lot on the shoulders of Ben Simmons with the Sixers down a couple of starters. Scotty, is there pressure on Simmons to carry the whole team right now? No, not at all. Um, this is an opportunity for me for Ben Simmons. Now yes. the floor is clear. He's going to be able to flow the way that he want to flow. Uh, the offense is going to cater to him. Everything will be ran through him. And I think that's the kind of player that we've always saw in Ben Simmons. We've always talked about that him and Embiid can't play together. And I think this is an opportunity for him to show people that he can win without having Embiid inside. But also, he's a franchise player if he's put in the right position. I expect him to get triple doubles from here on out. Right. Um, he's a special type of player. This guy can speak from experience. After losing the star, I had to go pull up some numbers. But when Mike went and played baseball, 
He carried his team into the playoffs pretty well and was third in MVP voting. 22 points a game, Man. eight rebounds, five assists, three steals. And it's a challenge and it's an opportunity, like he said, it's not pressure. And guys that look at it from that standpoint usually rise to the occasion. I think it's interesting. I just did their game in Philly against the Bulls. And there's so much talk, and I had this conversation with him. Like, there's so much talk about what he, quote, unquote, can't do. But, but even if, the fact that he doesn't shoot threes but still puts up those ridiculous video game numbers just is a testament to what kind of talent that kid is. Well, he, he's very good at everything in the basketball <laughs> game. Other than just being aggressively, offensively shooting the basketball, Ben Simmons fills the stats up across the board. Right. And any player would love to play with that type of player because no one gets mad at playing with a guy that doesn't take threes or doesn't shoot the ball. Right. You love playing with a guy that is a giving player and he is. that plays the game the right way, and that's what Ben Simmons is. Always makes the right play. He shares the game. He builds confidence in his teammates, and he's got an incredible motor. Yeah. From 94 feet, uh, I put a, I put him up there with the best at, at, at being that kind of wrecking ball, that that train out of control. And amazing on defense. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For highlights and analysis, check out the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content. Check out ESPN+. Plus.